What's up, y'all? My name is Devin, the DIY Lawn Coach. Hope you're having a great day. Today, guys, it is Independence Day. Happy 4th of July. Hope you're doing well. So I have a really quick video for you guys today. Just want to do something special that I always do on 4th of July, and that is we're going to throw down some Malorganite. But uh, if you've been watching any of my other videos, uh, you've noticed I'm having some struggles with some dry spots in my lawn. So I'm gonna kind of correct those today. I started to work on it a little bit yesterday, but it was like, no, I'm gonna stop and film this so you guys can see it because I'm sure, just like me, you guys are having some of the same problems as well. So thank you so much for clicking on the video. Hope you enjoy it. Happy Independence Day. Let's get into the video. So here's what the lawn is looking like, and it's it's doing okay. I'll, I'll be honest. I mean, am I happy with it? No. But at the end of the day, we're in you know the, the beginning of July now, and it's been really hot. It has been extremely humid, and so you know, my advice to you is you know when you have a cool season lawn, and it's 95 degrees, you really just have to lower your expectations and understand that. We're doing the best we can. We're trying to grow a cool season grass in a very hot, humid environment, and it doesn't like it. So, you know, uh, as you kind of look over the lawn here, you can kind of see some of the brown areas, and those are the areas that I'm talking about. And uh, I'll get you guys in a little bit closer, but the first thing you need to do when you start seeing some of these brown spots in your lawn is kind of become a little bit of a, of a detective, okay? so. I don't just go willy-nilly throwing out, you know, chemicals or fungicides or, you know, maybe you think it's grubs or whatever it is. Um, get down, look at the grass, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to look at it. We're going to identify what the problem is. Uh, I can already tell you, I know it's not fungus, but I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer and show you what we're looking at, what we're dealing with, and then what I'm going to do about it. So hang on real quick. Let me get the camera set up and I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer. All right, so as I mentioned, we kind of want to become a little bit of a detective to try to figure out what these, what these issues are. So let's see if I can get out of the shadow. So if we look down here in the lawn and we just see kind of a yellowish, I mean, you can see some of the grass is, you know, curled up here. And what that is, is just the grass is, it's under a lot of stress. So, but we don't see any lesions on the grass. Let's pull one up and look at it. You know, that grass blade looks good. I don't see any lesions, so that tells me it's not fungus. You know, we kind of pull on the grass a little bit. Grass seems really rooted. I'm not seeing anything that tells me there's insects or that there is any fungus damage. And as I mentioned, these are just what we call hot spots. So the question is, well, why are these spots turning brown? So that's why we're gonna kind of turn into a little bit of a detective. And here, is what I, like I mentioned, I, work, I was working on this yesterday and I think I found out what my problem is. So I'm gonna walk out here into one of these spots and I've got a screwdriver. Screwdriver's probably four or five inches long and I'm gonna try to get this in the ground. And I get it in and it stops at about two inches. So let's come over here to another part of the lawn where we're not seeing any of those brown areas, and let's try to put the screwdriver in. And it just goes straight down to the bottom, super easy. Could probably do that with just three fingers. So let's try a different area. So we just come over here, okay? And we can just barely, oh, and just barely push it down in there, okay? Goes all the way to the bottom. So what I think is happening is we have a compaction issue over here. So let's go over here, try to push it in. And I can barely, barely get it in. I'm barely getting the tip of that screwdriver down in that hole. <laughs> so what's happening in this area is water's not getting down to the roots. And so it's really stressing out the turf. What I'm gonna do is I've got a little core aerator. I'm gonna bring that over here and show you guys another example. All right, so this is, this is a uh, core aerator that I think I bought this at Home Depot a couple years ago. And what I, I use this for a couple different things, but primarily it's for my soil test. Whenever I need to do a soil test, I need to pull a plug out. Um, you just step on it 
and I can barely, in this little dry spot, I can barely get it in the ground. Okay, I did pull a core. Let me show you something. Come over here where it's a little bit better, a little bit easier, and it just goes right in the ground, super easy. But, so what's happened is, that core that I pulled earlier that I told you I could barely get, it just popped out. So let's bring that to you. Let's bring that here to the camera and show you. So watch this. So you look at the top part of the grass and it's wet. It's nice and wet and it, you know, I can feel the moisture in there. But as you come down about two inches, it crumbles. It is just so dry. So we come over here to another area of the lawn where we're not having heat, pro we're not having stress problems. And I can get it right down in there. Oh. Pull it out. And we look at it. Of course, the top is nice and moist. I can feel the moisture in there. But I come down to the bottom of that one and I can feel the moisture. It doesn't crumble quite like it did in those other areas. So, what's happening in these dry spots that I found out yesterday is we're not getting water down in the roots. I'm running my irrigation system, there's just some compaction issues. So, what we're going to do about it is because i'm irrigated if you're not irrigated i do not recommend doing this but because i'm irrigated i feel comfortable being able to do this is i'm going to walk around into the these what we call hot spots and i'm just going to start putting some holes in the ground okay maybe to relieve some of that compaction create just a few holes in this area so that water can now fall down in that hole and relieve some of this compaction and then Ideally, in the fall, when we do our overseed and our core aeration, I'm gonna make a mental note of these areas and we're gonna really hit these areas hard. And so, something else that I did, I jumped online, I ordered some aerate from Yard Mastery. So that'll be here in a couple days. So when that comes in, I'll show you guys spraying that out and how we're gonna treat some of these localized hot spots. But basically what's happening is just compaction and we're not getting water down to the roots like we are in some of the other areas. Let me set the camera up. I'm gonna go around and we're gonna plug some of these holes so we can get some good water and nutrients and oxygen down to these roots and see if we can't alleviate some of these brown spots. show you what I did and you can see all the little cores sitting on top of the grass okay we're just gonna leave those there that's no problem or let those melt down okay so the reason why I say you don't want to do this if you're not irrigated is because what I have just done is poked a lot of holes in the ground that will now if you're not getting enough water we will cause the ground to dry out even more so you'll actually do the reverse so I'm just gonna be really careful with it you can see all the little cores laying on the ground. So we're just gonna be really careful to make sure that we don't, again, make the, make the problem worse. But you, know, you can just see how dry that is. And so, like I said, that's just the water's not getting down deep. So we're gonna manually poke some holes. And then what I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said, I ordered some aerate. So once that gets here, we'll, uh, you know, we'll go back and put down some aerate and try to relieve some of this compaction. Again, the water is just not getting down where it's supposed to be. Watch how, look at how dry that is. Yikes. It just crumbles, so it's just so dry. So, makes sense. So, I'm gonna go cool off for a little bit, and then we'll come out here a little bit later, and we're gonna throw down some Malorganite, uh, which is an annual tradition that I always do for 4th of July. Throw her down! Let's hope for the best. It's an annual tradition. It's like watching uh, a Christmas story on Christmas Day. No, no, I want an official red under combination. Do you want to get rid of my rifle? You'll shoot your eye out, kid. 
or watching the Lions play on Thanksgiving. It's just what you do on 4th of July. So we'll get that done and uh, we'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, y'all, so the moment you have all been waiting for, it is time to throw down. So today, we're throwing down Melorganite. And again, as I said in the open, I apply Melorganite every 4th of July. Again, what I'm doing is we're gonna put one bag of Melorganite, 32 pounds, in the front yard, and then we're gonna take another 32 pounds, and we're gonna put it in the backyard. So all together, I'm putting down almost a quarter of a pound of nitrogen, actually a little bit less than that. So not really pushing any growth really, it's just more the, the tradition of it. Don't really need a whole lot of, of nitrogen, not trying to push a little growth. I will get a little bit of color response just from the iron, so let's go. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Uh, it was a great day. Hope you guys are having a fantastic 4th of July. And uh, really quick, before I let you go, a couple of things. So, Melorganite, perfectly safe to apply. Uh, I probably just would not apply it when it's over 85 degrees. It won't harm the lawn, it's not gonna burn. It's an organic fertilizer. Don't have to worry about that. But, you know, it's still really hot outside, so try not to apply anything to the lawn. Melorganite is a great fertilizer. It'll give you a really nice deep dark green color without pushing a whole lot of growth and it kind of lasts a long time. So I'm gonna run uh, the irrigation in the morning. You know, some of those dead some of those, uh, spots that we're trying to get filled in. Again, we don't wanna let those dry out. And so we're gonna really push some water down in those holes. So that'll be great. Good thing we're applying Melorganite. That'll also help. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Um, I'll be making another video here in a little bit. Once that air eight comes in, I'll show you guys how we apply that. And uh, you know, just want to make sure you stay tuned for that. And then the last thing I want to say is don't forget about my thousand sub contest that we're doing. So I'll link it up above so you guys can go check that out. Make sure you are watching it all the way to the end because I give the details on how you get entered in that contest. We're giving some fantastic prizes away like a bag of 1776 fertilizer, some hats, some swag, all that kind of good stuff. So excited to get to a thousand. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great Independence Day. I know that Independence Day is not necessarily about our veterans, but thank you so much to all of our veterans who uh, are supporting the channel as well. And thank you for your sacrifice. Have a great 4th of July. My name is Devin, the DIY Lawn Coach. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you in the lawn.